Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, when I first came here, there were a lot more chairs. Oh. The picnic area kind of things. But here we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, there's a, I don't know. Yeah. Changed a lot of it out. Um, and I didn't get to like super close read, but I did like get to skim through the new draft. And it seems like a lot of the changes you made are great. Good. I was trying to, this is what I was trying to tell someone today. Writing for us is so different. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, hey. Look at that guy. I thought this were, um, you thought he was a crane? Is that what he was saying? Yeah, he's not a crane. He's, I'm hoping it's the same guy. <laughs> um, he was a blue heron. Ah. <laughs> All right, so he's locked in his house. Great. Apparently, he doesn't open downstairs, just a door he opens from here. Oh, uh, okay. There's a woman here. I forget her name right now. She did it to Susan. Very nice. She's in here. Um, <clears throat> hey, buddy. He's in the job. Nice. <laughs> 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 Try to give the wildlife the most generic name possible. <laughs> I mean, I'd assume it's the same guy. I uh, mean, you know, I have habitat and stuff. <clears throat> but, is that a warm up? Yeah. It didn't start looking like this until the weather warmed up, so I'm assuming that's something to do with heat and. All right. Um, but, I was trying to explain the way I wanted the water to sound. Yeah. But I want it's a, more of like a thick, soupy kind of bubbling because of the way the water looks. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, we come up the stairs, there's a lot of house. Here's the mule stable mm -hmm. up here. Um, so it's all be you know, clearly walking. Right. Um, so it's one, you know, this is the first time we have a stop and start right. here. Um, <clears throat> Started coming, Lockton Tag was open. Uh -huh. It was so early in the year. Um, and then when I went to East and not to make something, oh, gotcha. And I'm not the kid that's going to be a good one. The hills where Georgia Perry will be the first time she sees them. Cool. Um, let's just stop and have a conversation and then move on. Cool. And then there's like, you see a little guy right there? You see a little statue right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? There's a bunch of little, like, cool, like, little things. That's cool. so... Whoa! Um, even though the water doesn't look like there's things in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of things in the water. Um, it's like the snakes down here a couple of times. Which is, you know, obvious. Lots of turtles. Um, the ducks. Fish. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought he was a turtle here. Oh, it's just a so log. Just I totally thought it was a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then, like, even, like, over on the, so on the wall, they have the little barb things. Uh-huh. I figured out that was, like, the um, like kind of the new Oh. Because this trail also goes into Jersey. Um, and, it, and it becomes a DNR canal. You know, the DNR. Right. And, um... And Trenton it doesn't look anything like it. I'll <laughs> <Nice. laughs> um, be honest, it's the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I'm walking, when I was talking to uh, Denise about her trip, she was saying that her trip has some, I'll um, be honest, it's the same either. Yeah. And like, it's interesting how the trail change, you know, whatever trail changes depending on yeah. the adjacent neighborhood. Totally. Adjacent totally. I think it's very much respectful though. There's some differences. Yeah. yeah. Not people would. Well, and I think it's it's like part of why we were trying to get some of the trails like Denise's trail mm -hmm. because I mean it's a beautiful space, it's just not cared for. Right. Yeah. Like the the benches are all burned out and mm -hmm. you know, and it's like pe people would use it if it looked like people, people were taking care of it. Yeah. But I don't think that it's probably when you have other issues going on. Quite. You know, you have to tend to your most pressing issues. Yeah. 
you know, in certain communities, but still, it's like, it's a, it's a bit disheartening. Yeah. Because um, I grew up on that trail my entire life, I had no idea what it was for. Yeah. I, but it's funny, so I was having a meeting with um, the Tacony Partnership mm -hmm. Organization, um, actually for a different thing. Right. Um, and they were saying that it's exactly that. They're like the, the trickiest thing is there are people who've lived their whole life like right next to it mm -hmm. and have no idea it's there, have no idea that it's like a resource for them. It's kind of like when I first came out here, you know, um, there were things moving, and I'm like, okay, this is kind of... And is this the yeah. bridge? This is bridge one. Cool. Yeah. This is bridge one. This will be stopped, number three, second time. Cool. Um, the light, yeah. the cover of it, yeah. I liked how it was dark, Yeah. it still somehow felt... Oh, is it safer? Yeah. We're just a little more insulated from everything else that's going on. Yeah. Um, I love the new shoes bit you yeah. added. Yeah. I'm going to these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, should, it took me forever. I had to figure out where they are the kids. Right, right. And I started writing to the kids. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> where should you get the kids from? You know? Right. Um, and I think that's where the, the doom aspect of it, because none of it makes sense. Yeah. You know, like in real live space. It yeah. It doesn't make any sense. So then I'm like, okay, well, how can I play with the fact that none of this makes any sense? Yeah. And you can give her kids whatever the hell you want. Right, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> and so the idea of having her walking and then just having them hold, start holding her hand. Oh. And just kind yeah. of materializing out of but then I still wanted to play with the bridge aspect. Right. But this is a seating area that I don't know what to call it. But right. um, I put it in here too. Mm -hmm. Because here she often starts to hear some you know, things in the water. Yeah. Um, I didn't count this one as a bridge. Okay. Because it's not an overhead. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe it's a lot. It's like where they would elevate, you know, rise or lower the level of the water. Ah, uh, okay, cool. On, uh -huh. That's a fake duck. <laughs> Every time I come out here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Me. Oh, yes, <laughs> um, but then I'm asking them, because when you build in the east thing, trails were wide. Uh-huh. Trails wider, the canals wider. Apparently that was a funding issue huh. when the uh, trails first built. Um, these are folks down this one that didn't believe in it. Oh. Hello, hello. Come on in. Come on in. I didn't think it was going to work. And then when it started working up there, the folks down here said, hey, can you come build this one? Right. So they said, yeah, here, take this little puny little thing. And that's, that's so funny. <laughs> up there, it's really wide. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 and it, it was, it allowed for the two-way traffic. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> and the other thing too, the bridge too is a little higher. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel as... As low, yeah. yeah as, you know, um, when it came to trying to do these monsters, right. um, I started thinking, well, how much protection is this going to offer her? Right. You know, with this space different. But we're already at bridge three. Yeah. So this is kind of what I was talking about. Like, Far as time and space is concerned, mm -hmm. now you're bridge three. But there's a large space between bridge three and four. Okay. So. Well, it would be nice actually if we have this on camera walking it. I can actually even just give this video to Mike and just be like, here's the space. Um, because he hasn't been out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he and I are actually doing tomorrow, <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> we're doing a little like sound test oh, where we're gonna go into a studio and like try to make some of the noises oh, just to start seeing it, like what we can do to get the sound effects. Yeah, because that was another thing that I kind of, as I started, when I started writing, I had these ideas. Yeah. Um, and then as I kept writing, you know, you're writing and you're, you're stopping, you're starting, you're stopping. But taking the sound into consideration is 
Yeah, I feel like everybody, it's so interesting. I mean, it makes total sense. Like a bunch of people wrote stuff in the form of almost like movie scripts. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was like, it, oh, of course, like that makes, to oh, these guys right, freak me out. <laughs> Listen, I don't want your, your teenage things, whatever we're going to Yeah. <laughs> just want to walk through and say, watch. They're so neat, they hiss at you. Yeah. Go. They can be extra. <laughs> 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 Woo! Alright, sorry. Just don't, you know. <laughs> yeah, we grew up, um, I grew up on the street playing on that river. So we look over there. And we used to go and play on the river, which was... I was out on the Schuylkill for actually taking a different video and um, there's just this like horde of them. And the like ones that are like the teenage ones that look all like awkward and weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, I love that uh, like teenagers of every animal yeah. species look weird. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, I was like, dude, I don't want to mess with you. I just no. have to keep walking. I'm just going this way. You can all mind our business. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can be great. I can be great. <laughs> like, this part of the canal too, which is why I started with water, mm -hmm. depending on when walk the trail. Oh, this could be like... This is empty when I first came. Oh. All this, it was, like, literally, you can see the bottom of the canal. Huh. And it was all, like, the mud or whatever it is. Like, yeah. It was all, like, uh, you know, watch movies, and, like, the desert's got, like, these cracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. It's like that was a little... I, to, I never saw one of those in real life. I only came in my collection. <laughs> 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 I feel like I've been, um, like there are things I now, and it's really like, I mean, I went camping as a kid, but I didn't know, like, I didn't know anything right. about it. We would just go. Right. And I feel like spending, I mean, I feel like most of you guys have like become experts on each of your trails. <laughs> and so I get to yeah. like pull like yeah, all of the facts. It's been an interesting journey because even you met, up with the uh, my representative or whatever up in Easton and he got all this information and then I felt like I'm stuck. Yeah. You know. And then all that time goes by and then we meet again and it feels like I started moving again. Yeah. So I feel like I was just stuck with all this information and reading all these things. Yeah, it's been interesting. I don't know, like, this is the first time we've ever done this, and so I, I'll be interested to talk to you guys after the whole thing is over, because I have lots of ideas about how, like, we could structure it better. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, like, if there's anything I wished, it was actually that we met again with the writers faster. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to get in people's business oh. if they're in process. Right. But I do think, actually, like, when we had those meetings, I was like, oh, it's just helpful to, like, because it's so different than I think. Like, I mean, that's the thing I keep saying to everybody right. is that n nobody knows how to write for this format. We're all learning. Right. So the more we can like get the spatial, like geographic stuff down early, mm -hmm. then you guys can, cause I feel like everybody's kind of hit the ground running with the writing yeah. after that kind of like initial, like, what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, was, it, was, it was weird to kind of be in that space. Yeah. I think I think if we had met again, yeah. I think it would have been good. Right. Um, because I think all right, Mr. Don't just, just leave me where I am, okay? <laughs> um, because I think trying to get us together, like trying to for us to get together individually. Yeah. I think we had the intention of doing it. Right. But everyone's got real life. Right. There's stuff going on. Yeah. You know, so it didn't work out yeah. the way you wanted. Um we do want to talk to you said, there were a couple of us that were supposed to just to kind of do at the conference call. Mm. Um, when I talked to her, she was the one who said she was doing a little bit down then. Uh, you know, it still happens. Yeah. But I think it was more like a... Yeah. Hey guys, we're meeting here. 
you need to be right. here so we can talk about them. Yeah, and I think if that, like I, you know, you never know. Um, and my in, my impulse was really to like, uh, I don't know, leave it open so people could do things however they wanted. But I right. think I've realized actually like requiring more structure is actually more helpful to people. Yeah. Um, so, you know. I, I thrive in structure, but I also like freedom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I think like too much freedom. Right. <laughs> kind of because of the way my mind works, I'll be working on something. Like I legitimately don't know at this point if I sit my, my wrench up on this one. Yeah. I was in the act. Right. I put the, <laughs> <laughs> put the money in. <laughs> you know, like, but I don't remember if I hit send because as I was going through that process, I was doing something else. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So that's more for me and my personal development. I yeah. just need to focus on slowing down. Yeah. Doing one thing at a time. Yeah. <laughs> um, just telling myself to take your time. But, you know, within that, because I'm all over the place all the time. I do kind of need to my okay, yeah. Right. It didn't exist right now. And it is a pretty drawn out process, but like the thing I realized was like we actually don't have any, we didn't have any deadlines until pretty far in. Right. So it was all that momentum from the writer meeting, yeah. which was like super exciting. Yeah. Um, but I was like, mm, if we'd, if we'd checked in sooner and done these trail walks early. Right. And I think I was nervous about making people make choices too fast, but mm -hmm. I was like, next time we'll just do it. You know, and yeah. people can change if they need to. I don't think that's the, that was the, uh, the part of the application process. Yeah. You, know, you went through that packet. It was just, you said, listen, we've never done this before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right. we're going to make some mistakes. Yeah. We're gonna make, you know what I mean? Like, we'll just, you know, be patient. And yeah. Even you know, and anything that, you know, any materials we received, it's been that kind of, you know, that kind of vibe with yeah. it, you know, so. Well, and everybody we picked, we picked because obviously, like, you're all super talented, but also my sense was, like, these are people who are going to be willing to be flexible and learn. Yeah. Because, you know, if somebody can't, I don't know, like, adapt their process, right. uh, this would not be the project. It's not, <laughs> you know. But I think that's just anything, well not anything, like in my nine to five, like anytime we do anything new, implement a new process for that particular company, yeah. it's always a complete disaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a disaster. Um, so comparatively speaking, this isn't bad. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> no, I mean like this is going well. I think in some ways like the the thing, the whole thing has, you know, like you sort of hope it goes smoothly right. and then you're like, well, I don't know, like I, I, I know what I know about these people, yeah. hopefully they do the <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, and the stories that have come in have been awesome. Good. So, Good. Um, so all of this is still all in that. this is still bad. Cool. Cool, cool, So, in, in, in the edits that I did just recently, um, I kind of tried to, I indicated where, when a dialogue where, mm -hmm. there should be stopping and starting. Yeah. But I also indicated, okay, there should be some silence here. Because cool. I started thinking about, you can't have that, it's just not. Yeah. <laughs> and I started thinking about some of the materials you see earlier on, I think it was during the, the initial meeting where we were talking about not having a continuous dialogue. Yeah. The entire time. This is a long stretch. Yeah. And it's neat to think about, like, hearing her talk a little bit and then like leaving some yeah. room. Because even when you're, you know, I think I tried to pace it out so where the first got the kids back, there was heavy dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, and then as they started to walk on, yeah. it just kind of, because that's just typically how things work. Right. You know, um, the kids dad came down Monday and Tuesday from Sudan. I haven't seen him in a while. So at first it's <laughs> you know, but if the night wears on, it just kind of yeah. Oh, hey, son. Oh, how are you? So this is also um, where it kind of gets a little sketchy with the yeah. I'm calling it a cliff because I'm dramatic. But you get the point, <laughs> right? <laughs> you get the point here, you know. Um, it's not for Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I was also using something that was on my balance. And I was doing a lot of this uh, having issues with balance because we stare at our phones a lot. Oh. Yeah. So, Good morning. Good morning. So, um, you know, a couple steps to the left or the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, good hope. There's people here. Right. Not so much on this side. Right. Um, which is another reason why I kind of try to play down the dialogue. Mm -hmm. Because up until recently, let's just say, up until the train station, because the train station over here, um, the challenges, mm -hmm. the people, but even in some of the murmuring when she first comes and, and right. she's screaming out for help and no one's, well, there's no one here now to ask for help. Right. And there's this couple houses over here. Yeah. And these people have a really cool car kind of other <laughs> <laughs> so cool. He just kind of hangs outside and like does whatever she wants to do. <laughs> my cat has a nice life. <laughs> yeah, my cat has a bee life. <laughs> Minding his business. So, um. And one thing we could do, like, because I know you've got the big, uh, the like the big differentiations. Mm -hmm. Once we get the dialogue recorded, if you want to set it. Like, we could even do, like, internal breaks. Like, basically, we can set a pin every 20 feet if you want. Yeah. So if you wanted to, like, tag it even more yeah. finely. Um, That's a good idea. Because I guess it depends on, like, how fast somebody walks. Like, if you get somebody who's really booking it, um, they could end up, like, really, like, really far along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or you could end up with somebody who's really slow and then has like a super long chunk. Right. Um, I think that's the hard part too. Because I'm thinking about not just me walking the trail, but what if you're walking with children? Right. What if you think about my mom? Think about my mom thinks that you can't walk with her. You know? So she's like, well, how do I hear your story? I don't know, girl. I have to figure it out. <laughs> I have to figure it out. Um, but like for you know, people who may have disabilities, yeah. you know, and they want to go on a quote-unquote adventure, like how do we it's an interesting, how play out? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we could probably do, I know, I think Mike did this with another one of his apps, where it was location-based, but he created, like, I think he called it a radio edit, mm -hmm. so it was, you know, it was obviously not connected. Right. Um, to the visuals, but it was still, uh, you could still hear all the nice. audio. I don't know if we'd put that in the app, because I feel like if I had the option to not go somewhere and listen, yeah, I'd I probably, probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, you know, for like maybe on the website or something, if yeah. there are folks that that uh, like can't go out on the trail. That would be cool, because even um, like my intention is to make a video on the trail. Yeah. You know, and, and listen to the story. But there's 10 books. Well, and they're all... Oh, <laughs> as I have learned, yeah. they are yeah. <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. Because I was even thinking about going back down to Seaport because, you know, it's right, right there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's just something else that I really wanted that. But I ended up not making it. And then I started looking at all the other ones. And there's another one close to here. Um, and there were. Yeah. You know, but like, some of these are kind of... Like Ari's trail is... It's beautiful, but it is out there. Yeah. Yeah. Donia's too. Yeah. It's really pretty. I mean, she picked a really cool section of it. Um, but it's, uh, and hers in particular, there's a, I, I had never, I'd been on part of, I, she, the, this trail that she has goes on for like a hundred miles or something crazy. Yeah. And so the section she picked, I'd never been on until I walked it with her. Mm. And there's like a, hill oh, wow. <laughs> and, and you know and I was like we'll, we'll put it we got to put a note you know before yeah. people go because it's one thing to walk this which is yeah. flat I mean and that's already like a you know like people have different like fitness levels mm -hmm. but I was like if if I mean I was like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird how like um, the first time I walked this trail I'm like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, dude, it's flat, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, the more I walk it, though, I'm just like, oh, it's just right up there. Yeah. It's not even that far. Yeah. Anymore. Um, yeah. It's just weird how you just 
as soon as you become accustomed to. Yeah. Um, so kind of like the way I, in my mind, kind of like here is kind of where she starts fighting with the air. Okay, cool. Because the fourth bridge is literally just beyond those, those trees. Down, gotcha. Down there. Um, there is there was bamboo here. I don't know what the heck they must have cut down. Did you know bamboo is like this invasive species? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Huh. If you plant them, 